I'm Drew Binsky, and I'm going to show you what $10 can get you in Damascus, Syria. Let's go. If you take away one thing from this video, let it be that Damascus is not at all what you think it is. I'm completely shocked, and I think that you will be too in about 5 minutes after you finish this video. At the time I'm visiting, Damascus is just about as safe and peaceful as any city can be. We all know that it's gone through stages of misery during the war, but the past is the past and they've moved on with a positive attitude. All I've been seeing are lively streets full of historical sites, tasty markets, so and a different smiling face every few steps. I haven't seen, spoken with, or met a single unfriendly person in the last four days of touring around the world's oldest city. And better yet, I can count on one hand how many tourists I've come across. Before I forget, have I mentioned yet that it's really cheap? 10 bucks is about 7,000 Syrian pounds. Are you guys ready for this one? Let's hit it. No matter where you look in the old city, you will see food. Lots and lots of really tasty food in shapes, colors, and textures that you've never seen before. My brain is going crazy. How are you? I'm good, how are you? How are you? Good on it? Yeah. Yes. So I'm in the middle of the street here and I found a fruit stand and this little kid with the hat on is making it for me. Thank you. Wow. The owner of this shop, after I got the pomegranate juice, he just gave me these free beans. Thank you so much. <laughs> what do you call these? Cool. Cool. Cool now. Extremely good. So I wanted to try one street food here in Damascus, and my friend took me to get manaish, which is right in front of me, and we're gonna see how it's made by this guy. So what are you gonna order for me? <laughs> I can't read that. <laughs> make me the best thing that you can make. Okay. How many years have you been making this? Since uh, 1998. 1998, amazing. And he told me that he's the first person to make this dish on the street. So long story short, this guy has the system down to a science. Thank you, my friend. Fresh off the press, let's try it. Very good. It's kind of like a Syrian quesadilla. There's like melted cheese inside and this salsa with pepper thing and tortilla. Oh, so good. Next, I gotta get my hands on that red Syrian cap, which I've seen everywhere, because you gotta embrace being a tourist sometimes. There's the hat. What's the price of this one? 800. 800. Thank you. Perfect. These hats are super cool, very Syrian style. Just a few shops down, and I spot another one of my travel collections. One flag. That one. 300. Okay. I bought flags in like 50 countries, and this is the cheapest one I found in my life in Syria. Okay, we have now hopped in a taxi to go to downtown to go explore the, the downtown area of Damascus, which is about a 20 30 minute ride away. There's something special about the taxis in Damascus, they're all yellow and old. It's so much fun to cruise around these streets, and every time we were stopped in traffic, I made a new friend. I just can't believe how amazing these people are. As soon as we got dropped off, I found another snack. What are these things? These look amazing. Pistachio? Coconut with some biscuits. Oh man. Do you like it? It's amazing. A very dry the texture, but the, the flavor is super good. Next, we headed over to the bustling flea market that is in the middle of these stunning Turkish style mosques. I came across this old man carving something really cool, so I approached him. What does it mean in, in English? Mr. Nothing more influence than a love in your heart and nobody knows about it. That's some deep thoughts. <laughs> okay, sure, I'll look quickly. What does it say on it? Music, music notes. Yes. You're a musician. I am not. It's first alphabet system. Arabic alphabet. Not Arabic, it's Phoenician. A oh, Phoenician. It's first alphabetic system ever exist. How much is that? This piece? Yeah. It's 500 only. 500 only? Yes. Too much, huh? No, it's... <laughs> 
Not too much. <laughs> too little. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll buy that. What are you doing here? I'm just traveling. I'm a tourist. Really? Yeah. What I love so much about this market and the people here is that they give honest prices. They don't try to oversell you. That guy, he just said 500. That was his first price. And almost everywhere else around the world, they will try to overcharge you and then you have to negotiate down. But here in Syria, there's no negotiations and it's amazing. A few doors down is another shop which caught my eye. You make everything? Of course, I have a group of girls work, <laughs> working for me. Alone, I can't do it. Uh, Can I see this? This is a nice camel with a palm tree. <laughs> do you think they will fit glasses? Yeah, for reading classes, yeah, not yeah. for uh, glasses. This one makes a perfect gift, and the lady is too sweet not to buy from. My name is Rafa, alhamdulillah. I work in the handicraft market in Damascus. We'll come to you in Syria. We have a nice city. Thank you so nice much. Bye-bye, nice nice have a good day. Last but not least, I need to end this wonderful day with a treat. And I found just the thing I was looking for. Okay, I have no idea what this is. I just saw it on the side of the road this guy was making. It looks like, like a lemon smoothie or a lemon slushie. It's like a frozen lemonade. We have these in the US. We call them frozen lemonade. Really good, and the way he makes it by hand in this little machine thing, and he like scrapes the ice off the side. And it's amazing, Syria is an amazing country. In total, I got a pomegranate juice, fava beans, a manaish, a Syrian cap, a Syrian flag, a taxi to downtown, a coconut candy bar, a sunglasses pouch, an alphabet necklace, and a lemonade slushie for $9.71. And that's what $10 can get you in Damascus, Syria. <laughs> Perfect. Hey guys, I am just now getting back to my hotel. I just want to say that that was the most fun $10 video challenge I ever made in all those episodes. This city is just something special. It's so eye-opening. It's where East meets West, Old meets New. You, people have faces of all different races and colors and they're just so friendly. And it was so much fun going through these markets in Damascus. That's all I want to say and I will be back tomorrow with some more amazing stories in Syria. Good night, guys. I'm Drew Binsky and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.